There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. One. You're using the wrong sized cuff. The most common error when using indirect blood pressure measuring equipment is using an incorrectly sized cuff. A BP cuff that is too large will give falsely low readings, while an overly small cuff will provide readings that are falsely high. The American Heart Association publishes guidelines for BP measurements, too, recommending that the bladder length and width, the inflatable portion of the cuff, should be 80% and 40% respectively of arm circumference. Most practitioners find measuring bladder and arm circumference to be overly time-consuming, so they don't do it. The most practical way to quickly and properly size a BP cuff is to pick a cuff that covers two-thirds of the distance between your patient's elbow and shoulder. Carrying at least three cuff sizes, large adult, regular adult, and pediatric, will fit the majority of the adult population. Multiple smaller sizes are needed if you frequently treat pediatric patients. Quote cough sounds are the noises heard through a stethoscope during cuff deflation. They occur in five phases. I first detectable sounds, corresponding to appearance of a palpable pulse. Two sounds become softer, longer and may occasionally transiently disappear. Three change in sounds to a thumping quality loudest four pitch intensity changes and sounds become muffled. These sounds disappear 